Oh, hi you loves, it's Monday, I'm back on your screen again, so it can only mean one thing, we're doing another donation today loves. It's later on in the day because it's been a busy bank holiday Monday here. I've already done the deliveries of the fudge today as well and it's been a mega busy week because of the competition that I'm doing at the moment, which if you still want to be part of it, if you order fudge before midnight tomorrow night, which is Tuesday night, you'll be entered in to the competition, which you'll stand a chance of winning one of my brand new tote bags as well as four boxes of fudge, the flavours you can pick. So it's been mega busy because of that competition, which I wanted to do to launch my brand new tote bags. And also because it had been a quiet few weeks, which obviously I expect that with the weather getting warmer. And as I've said before, whether I'm making one box a week or 100 boxes a week, you know, I'll let the money build up until I'm able to make a donation to one of the charities on my list. So that's what I did this time round, which is why there wasn't a video last week, because I wanted to let the pot build up a bit more, because I had something very specific in mind that I wanted to do. So today I'm able to make a donation of £148.46 exactly. And it'll all become clear as to why it's such a specific amount, amount in a minute. But I am donating that money to an amazing cause called Free Cakes for Kids. And I've donated it to the Fairham and Gosport community of free cakes for kids. I found out about this lovely organisation, Free Cakes for Kids, via another customer who um, explained to me a bit about what this organisation does and I said yes, I would absolutely love to make a donation um, to that cause. So, customer put me in contact with this lovely lady called Ali and she messaged me probably about a month ago to tell me more about this organisation. So let me tell you that information now. So Ali runs the Fairham and Gosport uh, community group of Free Cakes for Kids. It's a nationwide charity and organisation so if you want to find out more about them, you can just type free cakes for kids into Google and bring up their website. Um, but what they are is a group of volunteer bakers and they bake birthday cakes for children who may otherwise not get one due to their family circumstances. They get referrals from social services, from local charities, from domestic violence shelters, church groups, like St Matthew's, and it was St Matthew's that put me in touch with Ali, um, and other organisations like that. Families need to fit a criteria to qualify for the cake, which is either in receipt of universal credit, a disability learning allowance, or have an illness or disability in the family. Um, so there is a criteria, and anyone that meets that, that criteria that's referred to Ali, then they are kept in mind for one of these amazing birthday cakes. So Ali's actually building the group up at the moment um, and she's finding new potential referrers to the group as well as volunteer bakers. If there's any bakers out there that would be interested, then by all means, please contact them. It's all voluntary. Um, and the bakers even pay for everything. Uh, honestly, when Stephen told me about this, I could have literally just burst into tears on the spot. I think this is such an amazing initiative. Um, and I couldn't believe that all the, all the bakers are buying their own stuff as well as actually making the cakes. They're actually buying all the ingredients to do it. So my heart was just like, I need to do something about this. So the reason why the amount is so specific is because I contacted Ali and I said, look, I want to do a donation. 
how does it work? Would you rather me just go shopping and buy a load of stuff? She come back and said, that would actually be amazing. So I said, well, send me over a shopping list, Ali. So she said, sure thing. The conversation didn't go exactly like that, but you get the gist. And so she sent me over a shopping list. And with that money, I went to Asda on Friday night with Andy and I loaded up the trolley with 10 inch cake boards and boxes, icing sugar, white fondant icing, caster sugar, butter, self-raising flour and cocoa powder. So loaded up a whole trolley full, it came to £148.46. That's what I am donating on behalf of one box of fudge to Fairham and Gosport Free Cakes for Kids. If you want to look them up on, on Facebook, Free Cakes for Kids, Fairham and Gosport. If you want to find out how you can also buy some ingredients to donate to, because like I said, at the moment, the bakers are volunteering and they're paying for their own stuff. Um, then by all means, contact Ali via there. If you want to volunteer to be a baker, again, contact via there. Um, it's just an unbelievable cause and it's been going since 2008 and since then they've been baking for hundreds of families uh, who find it difficult to provide a birthday cake for their child. It's obviously a free service and it's confidential um, and they bake cakes for children aged 1 to 18. They obviously have to follow strict hygiene and confidentiality standards because of what it's to deal with. Um, but yeah, all the cakes are homemade. And if you go on their Facebook page, um, you can see how amazing the cakes look. So yeah, it might be a random cause, but it's a cause that really spoke to my heart because birthdays, people are funny about birthdays, aren't they? And some people don't celebrate them. Me, I do celebrate them because I think, yay, I've actually made it to this age and I really appreciate, you know, with my health, I appreciate, you know, we all go through, um, you know, the past few years, especially what we've all been through with the pandemic, for me, birthdays are about celebrating being here and making the most of. We're, we're only here once. I actually spend the whole of September celebrating my birthday, which I'm sure you won't be surprised about. <laughs> I'm gonna be 37 this year as well, just in case you're wondering. But yeah, I do celebrate my birthday. And just for me, when I found out about this from Stephen and Ali, I just felt like, you know, the difference that I'll be making on that child who might not be receiving anything else, but to receive a beautiful birthday cake that's been made with love by these amazing people. What more do you want in life or need in life? Very special. And I'm very proud to be able to donate a whole shopping trolley full. Ali's coming over on Wednesday to collect it all. Um, and yeah, it, it bought a lot for that amount of money, literally the trolley was full. So yeah, lots of cakes will be made. On behalf of One Box of Fudge customers, I literally could not do this without you. Thank you so much for supporting me and for continuing to order fudge. Thank you so much to anyone who's placed an order this week, especially to be part of the competition um, and to boost funds I was able to make a donation today. I might not I might not be on the screen every week now, but whenever I have enough money to do another donation, I've got a list and I will continue to do it. Might not be at the normal frequency, but I will see, still keep doing it, love. So don't you worry. I've got some amazing ones lined up. And um yeah, thank you all so much. I hope you've had an amazing bank holiday weekend. Um, and if you're worried about the state of my lips, <laughs> I got sunburnt lips when I was on holiday. So that will teach me not to wear sunscreen on my lips, which apparently I have to do now. I'm 36 years old. So yeah, 
tip for holidays as well. Take that sunscreen, love. Hope you have an amazing week. I hope to be back next week to make a donation, but if not, I will see you soon. And if you want to be part of that competition, don't forget to get your orders in tomorrow night before midnight. The winner will be announced on Wednesday. And if not, loves, I hope you place an order soon. And if you want one of those tote bags, they'll be available from Wednesday onwards for £5, with all profits going to one box of fudge. We've raised over £2,250 now, loves. So let's keep going. Have an amazing evening. Bye, loves.